over the last couple of years, we have seen how Loop has helped dynamic and collaborative teams achieve more out of their workflows. Today, we'll demonstrate the next level of team collaboration with Loop designed to elevate the productivity of technical teams. In this video, we'll embark on a detailed walkthrough where we'll reveal how Loop can seamlessly integrate into a developer's routine, optimizing workflows, and allowing Loop to take care of the mundane whilst enabling managers and their teams to concentrate on work they're truly passionate about. Let's take an example. Van Arstel is a multinational robotics company poised to launch a new project focused on robotics delivery to a sneaker warehouse. The company's development team collaborates closely with manufacturing, assembly, deployment, and sales teams for each project. This entire process from initial requirements to final delivery involves intensive collaboration and necessitates close coordination with various stakeholders. Ishita, an engineering manager at this robotics company, starts a new loop workspace for a team to collaborate on the upcoming project. She then adds her team members to this. Jumpstart harnesses the power of Copilot in Loop to consolidate scattered project-related requirements and artifacts such as documents, presentations, research materials into a unified and collaborative workspace. For the purpose of this walkthrough, I will use an illustrative workspace with some random content. Let's begin. One of the Loop pages in this workspace contains a loop component that keeps a live flow of requirements coming in from the product team who keep refreshing this component from within the context of their chosen Microsoft 365 product, in this case, Teams. The engineers also get the most up-to-date view of requirements from their project wiki. The project starts and this team starts to deliver on high priority items. Ishita has a page which brings her GitHub Sprint board into Loop every sprint. She brings in both GitHub PRs as well as issues that she wants to track in that sprint. She now can act on key tickets while she conducts her daily stand-up meeting with her engineers and adds comments to those tickets from a single Loop page. Additionally, she sets up a rule on her GitHub table which helps her automate her mundane tracking tasks. Let's see how. This rule helps her stay updated with the key changes that happen on her table's content without her having to constantly monitor her page. Nick, an engineer on this team, is tasked with ensuring that this team keeps a record of an end of sprint outcome. He uses a dedicated loop folder within the Steam's wiki and keeps a record of issues as well as PRs from GitHub that were completed in the last sprint. He ensures that these tables stay in sync with the master record from GitHub so there's a single source of truth. In the end, he uses Copilot in Loop to create the sprint summary, which can later be used in customer release notes. To effectively manage their team dependencies in an asynchronous manner and reduce time spent in meetings, Van Arsdale's development team creates a loop page where they track the work stream dependencies from across different groups. This page contains work items from product, engineering, and design teams. Their tasks are also managed within the same workspace. This can later be repurposed for leadership updates as well. Nick, our engineer, now wants to get an overview of the project items and see which items need his immediate attention. He goes to the workspace status page to get a consolidated summary. He recognizes there is an open item on him. It appears that there is a need to increase more visibility into his work to keep everyone up to date with the most accurate snapshot of his feature area, he uses the loop 
ADO integration and brings all the relevant features into a loop table. Any further updates can then be made directly from this table and they sync back with ADO. Brian, a senior architect at Van Arsdale, has a technical review of a complex feature that his team is building, aiming to further optimize the delivery time for robots. For this, he uses one of the previously authored pages as a blueprint to create this architecture document. He saves this page as an architecture doc template, enabling him to reuse the same structure multiple times. He creates a loop page in his wiki where he plans to author the new document. He uses the newly created architecture document dev template for this. He gives it a title and fills out the rest of the context. To keep things relevant for all audiences, he brings in the functional flow designs on the same page. With the Figma embed capability in Loop, these designs can then be rendered directly from within Loop, enabling the reader to consume everything from a single location. Next, he wants to bring in the latest REST API designs for one of the modules and remembers that they were in one of the older pages. He then goes and finds the relevant page and ensures that he's got the latest version of the file by looking at the version history. After that, he inserts those details in a code block. To enrich this document further, he uses Mermaid to create a class diagram and help his readers visualize important details from the code files. Copilot, in loop, further adds a massive uptick to his productivity as he uses it seamlessly to create a sequence diagram and visualize the ABI contracts. To easily navigate the page, in the end, he adds a table of contents on top of the page. Aditya, an engineer at Van Arstel, encounters a complex problem while working on a new module for the warehouse robots. To gain a clearer understanding of the required changes in the new robot workflows, he initiates a team meeting with his team members. They brainstorm using whiteboard, conceptualize, and mind map the new robot ideas. Once the exercise is complete, Aditya ensures the whiteboard is added to the loop design page to keep all context in a single workspace. As the delivery date approaches, Aditya adds a code block with the solution that he's proposing. He then creates open task items for his fellow engineers to review and add their feedback. They work collaboratively to complete the solution. As they delve deeper into the problem, Aditya decides to brainstorm on a solution idea and creates a voting table and shares with his team to vote on those ideas. Through this process, he democratizes his decision-making and ensures that they work through the problem as a team. Throughout the discussion, the team harnesses Loop's asynchronous capabilities to continue their collaboration beyond the scheduled meetings. They leave comments on each other's code and iterate on their solutions all while within a Loop page. At Van Arstel, the development team has just completed a major milestone in their project to enhance the functionality of their warehouse robots. As they wrap up this phase, they gather for their regular retrospective meeting to reflect on the recent work and identify areas for improvement as a team. Ishita, tasked with conducting her team retro, uses Loop's team retrospective boards component and kicks off their meeting. Each team member contributes their thoughts, sharing insights and observations on what went well and what could be improved. The entire process is democratized and the team votes on top items to address by voting directly on the retrospective board. These action items are swiftly captured in a task list component and responsibilities are assigned to ensure accountability moving forward. These tasks now automatically sync with Planner and its timely reminders ensure that no captured tasks slip through the cracks and are completed promptly. We can now see how Van Arstel managed to achieve more with their use of Loop. Similarly, we at Microsoft love using Loop for our collaborative projects too. If you and your teams use Loop, 
Do provide your thoughts and feedback and help us make Loop better for you and your team.